If you're interested in boondock style camping, you want more privacy, serenity, interaction with the nature around you, and you want to hear some tips on how to boondock longer, quieter, and more cost effectively, stick around. We're going to share with you some of the things that we've been doing to boondock for up to six months a year. Hi, my name's Air Miller and this is Plan Free, the channel that illustrates a location independent lifestyle and shows you how to get it. We're just wrapping up about a six week boondock right now. And we're gonna share with you some of the tips that helped us stay out in places like this the entire time. We're by no means experts, and I'm sure some of you out there will have tips and tricks that are even better than what we're doing, and that's great. Please share them in the comments. But as we learn each year, we're getting better and better at staying out longer and longer in serene places like this as we continue to enjoy boondocking. Now, oftentimes in an RV or a motorhome, your onboard fridge and freezer are rather small. So needless to say, you want to fill those two things up about as full as you can get them before you leave town. We've found the food areas that you can really stock up on to gain more flexibility in your stay durations are the dry goods and the shelf stable foods. Again, in an RV or motorhome, oftentimes space is a limiting factor. So we would encourage you to get creative as far as temporarily converting spaces that aren't traditionally used for food storage into that for a while. Yes, you'll at the beginning of your trip, you'll feel overrun with food stocks and inventory, but as you're consuming, I'm guessing you probably want to eat like every day, you'll be creating more and more space as you go. But we find it's a good trade off to give up some space temporarily for the ability to stay out in these spots for longer. So what we'll do in addition to the cupboards and the usual space that's used for food storage, we'll convert temporarily things like under our bed storage or even some of the outside bins and we'll put food in there for a time. Other spots might include our shower which as mentioned before we're usually showering outside so you've got this big space in your motorhome that for us is basically unused and we'll sometimes convert that to either empty water jug storage or food storage. We make it a fun ongoing exercise to identify items that are in our motorhome that we're no longer using and eliminate them from packing around so that because every item that we remove from the motorhome that creates more space for things like food that we can pack in. Some of the food choices that can last a long time are either dry or shelf stable would be things like nuts, seeds, grains, cereals, flowers, dried fruits, uh, hiking or military type ration foods. Sometimes they're like boil in a bag or sealed type meals. If any of you uh, are having good experience with uh, hiking or military style ration type portable foods, please add your experiences to the comments below and recommendations as we are looking to add more of those things into our uh, pack along kitty. In addition, things like concentrated greens powder, uh, collagen powder, bone broth powder, protein powders, these will all be good food sources that are lightweight, shelf stable, and packable. Canned goods like vegetables, meats, beans, uh, things like coffee, alcohol, if you're into that sort of thing. All of these will be excellent items to stock up on before you leave for your boondocking experience. 